In recent times, the issue of Sapinda marriage has garnered attention in India, particularly concerning its compatibility with Hindu traditions and legal frameworks. The Delhi High Court's examination of this matter sheds light on the intricate interplay between ancient customs and modern legal principles within the Indian context. Sapinda marriage is a concept deeply rooted in Hindu traditions, tracing its origins to ancient scriptures and religious texts. According to Hindu law, Sapinda relationships refer to blood relations extending up to seven generations on the father's side and five generations on the mother's side. Marriage between individuals within these specified degrees of relationship is traditionally considered prohibited due to concerns regarding incestuous unions and potential genetic abnormalities. In the realm of Indian law, the legality of Sapinda marriage has been a subject of debate and scrutiny. The Hindu Marriage Act of 1955 governs marital relationships among Hindus and specifies conditions under which marriages are valid. Section 5 of the Act outlines various conditions for a valid Hindu marriage, including prohibitions against marrying within certain degrees of Sapinda relationships. However, the Act also provides provisions for exceptions to these restrictions under specific circumstances. The Delhi High Court's involvement in the Sapinda marriage discourse has brought clarity to the legal landscape surrounding this issue. In its deliberations, the court has balanced the principles of Hindu traditions with constitutional mandates, particularly those enshrined in the Indian Constitution's fundamental rights provisions. The court's scrutiny of Sapinda marriage cases has focused on interpreting the provisions of the Hindu Marriage Act in light of evolving societal norms and scientific advancements. While acknowledging the significance of traditional customs, the court has emphasized the need to uphold individual rights and freedoms guaranteed by the Constitution. Article 21 of the Indian Constitution, which enshrines the right to life and personal liberty, has played a pivotal role in shaping the court's approach to subpoena marriage cases. The court has recognized that while certain restrictions on marital unions may have historical and cultural significance, they must not infringe upon individuals' fundamental rights without reasonable justification. In conclusion, the issue of subpoena marriage stands at the intersection of Hindu traditions and modern legal frameworks in India. While deeply rooted in ancient customs, the legality of subpoena unions is subject to scrutiny under contemporary legal standards. The Delhi High Court's examination of this matter underscores the importance of reconciling tradition with constitutional principles to ensure justice and equity in matters of personal law. As Indian society continues to evolve, the dialogue surrounding Sapinda marriage will likely continue, guided by the principles of justice, fairness, and respect for individual rights.